Is your ego getting in the way of you living a great life? You know, I meet a lot of guys and they can't handle that they need help in this area of being social and flirting. They just feel like ashamed about it. Or they feel like they should be good at it. Like it's like, I'm not a man because I'm not good at breaking the ice with women or I'm not a man because I'm not uh, understanding how to, how, how to connect with them. And that's a shame. You know, and, and that's one of the biggest things I deal with when I meet a new client is getting him to understand that there's no shame to it. It's actually more common, way more common, that he be this way than to be some guy who was just born like uh, Orpheus descending, you know, and that's the god of, you know, love and sex and all that descended. It's the opposite. Most guys aren't good at it. And why should we be? No one taught us. We act like, you know, we didn't have to learn to read or write. We act like we didn't have, if you want to learn to be great at the guitar, you have to practice every day. You have to, and you have to have a great teacher, not just YouTube videos showing you the way. If you want to learn a, a new language, you, you have to be taught it. And you have to find a great teacher and a great system to learn the language. And then you have to go out and speak that language with people live and in person on the streets of the world. This is no different. The great news is, the very great news is, we live in the most amazing time of all time, the time where I exist. Because there was a need for me to learn it, and I had to learn it, and there was a need for me to share it with you. A big need. There's no shame, drop the ego. There's no difference between learning the guitar and learning how to flirt. You have to find a great guy, and you, ha and you have to work it, and you have to practice it. Okay guys, cool.